Hi and welcome to our overview video. Let's take a few minutes to get you familiar with your Caspio account. In this video, I'll take you on a quick product tour and also walk you through the demo application included in your account. Near the end of video, I'll talk a little bit more about the powerful features and learning resources available to you. Let's get started. On the Caspio home screen, you'll see a list of your applications, a menu to access your account settings, and some helpful resources to accelerate your learning. Once you open an app, you'll see the main sidebar with all the essential building blocks of Caspio. The app overview is mostly informational where you can add notes and view stats about your applications. Let's go over data pages next. Caspio data pages are web application interfaces that embed directly into your own website or intranet. Data pages allow your end users to interact with your data in real time. Let's preview a data page inside your account so that you can see an example. Here in this demo, Physician Directory, users can search for physicians based on their specific preferences. This data page is designed to be public facing on a website. And as you can see, users can search and view the data, but don't have the ability to edit the information. Now let's take a look at a report from the administrative perspective. Again, we'll click Preview. This data page is authenticated, meaning it requires a password to access it. So let's go ahead and log in as the admin. And once authenticated, we'll be able to search and modify the database using a variety of editing options. For example, as the admin, I can view the details of this physician's profile, edit any information I want, and approve it to be published in the directory. These features can be turned on and off with just a simple click of a button when building your data pages. Caspio's Visual Application Builder makes it easy to get your project up and running in just a few days, rather than months just by clicking through a series of step-by-step -step options. Once you're done customizing your data pages the way you want, each data page can be deployed or embedded into a website with a simple embed code, or it can be shared using a Caspio Direct URL. Now let's move down to tables. Tables are the foundation of all Caspio applications, where your data serves as the starting point of building your app. In this demo, you'll see that we have three tables. One to store the physician info, one to store the user's login into the app, and last one here is the lookup table of all the U.S. states. Similar to an online spreadsheet, you can open the table to view, filter, and edit data in real time. To create a new table in Caspio, you can import an existing file by going to Tools, or you can build it in Caspio by going to Table Design, create all your fields, and define their settings and data types. Next. Views allow us to filter data from tables or merge different tables together. Merging tables also creates relationships between our data, such as one-to-many or many-to-many. -many. In this demo, I have a view to filter data, for example, only the active physicians who can log in and update their profile. Which brings me to the next Caspio building block, authentications. Authentications are used to password protect your applications. This demo app has two authentications, one for physicians and another for admin users. When you create an authentication, you base it on your table or view that contains your user's information and then associate it to the data pages intended for them. Next up, connections allow users to connect to apps using a personal account login such as Google, Twitter, or OpenID. This would allow users to access your application using their Gmail account instead of creating a user profile in Caspio. Styles control the look and feel of your applications. Here you can customize the style to your liking, change colors, buttons, icons, or even add your own custom CSS. Caspio provides several professionally designed style templates for you to apply as is or customize as you like. Localizations provide regional settings such as language, date formats, number formats, currency, and so on. For example, you can quickly change the default text that appears on your buttons or change the language altogether. Last, we have tasks. Tasks are event-based operations that run on demand or automatically based on a preset schedule. They are especially useful to automate repetitive tasks, such as scheduling data modifications or sending email or SMS notifications based on your specific timetable. Simply by using these building blocks available in the sidebar, you'll be able to create sophisticated applications for any number of users, public or internal. A few other powerful capabilities I'd like to highlight. 
You can create simple to complex table relationships using visual tools, build custom workflows using triggers and tasks to automate business processes, and you can even connect your applications to over 1,000 online services using Caspio's built-in connector with Zapier. If you need to extend your apps further, you can insert custom codes such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, or use our REST API. You can customize your reports based on your unique business model, using dashboards and charts to visualize key metrics, drill down to hone in on specific data, calculate incoming entries in real time, process payments using Stripe or PayPal, and much, much more. The Caspio team is dedicated to making sure you succeed building your first application. We offer many resources to help you along the way, all listed on your Caspio home screen. I recommend you take advantage of our instructor-led training sessions, online help with step-by-step -step documentation, and extensive video library available on our popular YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we're excited to see what you'll build with Caspio. If you need additional assistance, please reach out to our support team.